Big Fish Audio releases Country Lovin', Modern Country Loop Library, and updates Momentum to version 1.3.2. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. Big Fish Audio has released Country Lovin', Modern Country, a multi-format library featuring over 11 gigabytes of contemporary country kits and updated the free Momentum plugin to version 1.3. Each of the kits in Country Lovin', Modern Country is filled with numerous acoustic instruments like guitars, banjos, mandolins, bazooki, drums, and more. Country Lovin' has been formatted in all the industry standard file types, Apple Loops, Acidized Wave, and REX. Every piece of commonly used hardware and software will be compatible with at least one of these fully developed and usable formats. Multi-format version. Apple Loops. 11.41 GB total content. 3,654 files. Acidized Wave. 11.41 GB total content. 3,654 files. Rex. 2.41 GB total content. 1,674 files. Momentum plugin version. Powerful free momentum plugin. 11.41 GB of content. Construction kit layout. Slice editing and effects. Price $129.95 at Bigfish Audio. Com. The Momentum Plugin 1.3 update, currently 1.3.2, includes velocity sensitivity, a new release knob in shot mode, reverse and stutter effect improvements, bug fixes, and a new improved graphics engine. New features and improvements. Velocity sensitivity Velocity sensitivity can now be added to any loop on the slice page via the velocity button. Release knob or release time can now be set when using the shot playback mode on the slice page. Slice mapping shift the starting point for slice keyboard mapping on the slice page can now be shifted down one or two octaves to add flexibility for MIDI controller specifications. Reverse crossfade updated the functionality of the slice effect reverse crossfade knob. The crossfade knob can now be used to smooth out clicks that can happen between two reversed slices. Bug fixes. Fixed a bug where switching from shot to loop mode would break the slice page. Fixed a bug where changing the type of slices by grid added would reset the position of the loop start and end markers. Fixed a bug where the slice effect chorus would be missing the knob for the voices parameter. Fixed a bug where the MIDI file export to playback slices on the slice page was broken. Fixed a bug where creating slices manually wouldn't update the on screen keyboard. Fixed a bug where the pitch slice effect would change in whole steps even when a half step was selected. Fixed a bug for the group effect delay, where the time could not be set manually. Fixed a bug where user samples wouldn't load properly in FL Studio on Windows 10. Fixed a bug where the delay slice effect would show incorrect time values when tempo synced or set manually. Read more at www.bigfishaudio. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.